Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to install IIS, Internet Information Services, on Windows 11. Okay, so now, let's get started. I will open the browser. I will type in the URL in localhost. Enter. And you see here, we cannot open the website localhost on this PC. That means, for now, the IIS still not installed successfully on the Windows PC. So let's follow me. I will guide you step by step on how to install the IIS on the Windows 11. Okay. You click on Start button, and you type in the Control Panel. Click on Control Panel. It will open up the control panel window. In the control panel window here, you click on the programs. It will open up another window. You take a look into the program and features. In the program and features, we have the turn windows features on or off. Let's go ahead to click on this hyperlink. It will open up another pop-up. Window features. I will make this one a bigger. In the window features, you see there are some the feature is already enabled and there are some other feature is disabled. For any feature it is already enabled, you can see it in the blue icon and for other one it will be in white color. Yeah. You take a look into the list of feature here. We have the Internet Information Services. Let's go ahead to click on the plus icon to expand. Inside the Internet Information Services, we have some other folder. FTP Server, Web Management Tool, World Wide Web Services. So here you can expand the World Wide Web Services. Yeah. And we have a lot of features here for the application development features. If you are the website developer, I suggest that you should enable all of the services inside the Internet Information Services folder. Let's go ahead to enable everything here. And scroll it down, we have the Internet Information Services hot table web core. Let's go ahead to enable this one. Yeah. So here we have, yeah. So I think it's the end now for now. Let's go ahead to click on the OK button. And the window features will be automatically searching some required file from internet and then install it on the Windows PC. Yeah. So you see the window already completes the request changes. So click on the close button. Yeah. It will close the pop-up. So now open the website again. And here try to refresh this URL local hot. Yeah. After you refresh this website, you can see the default web page of the Internet Information Services on the Windows PC here. So that means for now you have the successfully installed the IIS service on the Windows 11. Okay. So after you install the IIS on this PC successfully, you go to the zip PC and C drive. We have the iNetPub folder and be created. Yeah. Inside the iNetPub folder, we have some other folder for the FTP, history, log, template, attempt, uh, or roots folder. The root folder will contain some the website short code. So here you take a look into this local hot and this content is displaying the content of the IIF start.html file here. Okay. Yeah, this one. So now I want to create another file here. Right click on this. And okay, I will copy the file first. Yeah, 
I will change the name it to the that. Yeah. So here we have the that.htm. In case you cannot see the extension htm, you can go to view. Yeah. And we have the file name extension. Yeah. So here, check to the checkbox file name extension. So you can see the extension of the if file here. Okay, copy the name here. And then back to browser. I will have slash that.htm, enter. Yeah, you see here, we have the website successfully displaying for the that.htm. Yeah, so let me open it in Notepad. Hmm. Not bad, yeah. So here I will try to enter some text. And um, hang on. Hit one. Hit one. Hello from GNV. Set up. No, 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 no. I save it to the desktop. Yeah. And then I will delete the file inside the root folder and copy it again from the desktop. Because in order to copy the copy or at least the file in the root folder, I need to open it in the admin mode. Yeah. So back to browser and refresh. You see, we have a new message. Hello from TNV. I will add it into this file. Okay, cool. So I think that's all for today. After you finish this video, you know how to install the IIS Internet Information Services on the Windows 11. And after that, you also know how to do some of the modification by adding a new HTML file into the root folder. And then you can modify the content in the tab.htm file by adding some state hello from TNV here. Okay, I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.